What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Today I'm going to show you how you can unlock the trade price for the Grotti Italy RSX, the new sports car. And afterwards, after I buy it, we're also going to customize it. So first of all, if you look on the Legendary Motorsports site, it says that you have to return Moody Man to the music locker, but it doesn't tell you how. And first of all, I looked on Reddit, I looked on YouTube, I'm going to be honest. And people said that you need a message from Tom Connors, but no one actually tells you that you need to buy buy a penthouse for this. I also saw some videos that said that it's enough to be a Diamond Casino member. Now this is not true, I spent one hour in a lobby and then I saw a loading screen where it said Tom Connors is searching for penthouse owners to return Moody Man. Anyway, after you have a penthouse you will receive the message and with the mission you just have to return Moody Man, you have to get his car back, his car is the Grotti Italy RSX. And that's basically it, not that hard. Now for the people who don't have a penthouse, I really recommend if you're just getting it for the discount, don't get it because the cheapest penthouse is 1.5 mil. I spent 1.5 mil just to save 900k. So obviously that's not smart, don't do it. If you don't have a penthouse, just go for the regular price. I know it's a lot, but would you rather save 900k and pay 1.5 mil? or just pay the regular price and save 600k. Anyway, if you still want a penthouse though, if it's something that you want, you can also get it of course, but you will be losing 600k at least. I bought the cheapest, the ugliest one, just to test it out. I'm not really happy with the purchase, I lost 600k, but it is what it is. At least I have a penthouse now, if I need it in the future, I still have it. You know, that's maybe a positive side to it. By the way, if you're doing this mission, make sure that you do it by car because you need to shoot the um, driver. If you're doing it with a helicopter, obviously you can't do it because you can't destroy the car. Other people also have like this mission with a scooter first, I think, or afterwards. Now, I just had this one first, then I immediately looked on the site and I already had it. So I have no idea what the scooter thing is, but maybe it's just a glitch that I had. Maybe I was just lucky. But on the site, it says just return Moody Man. We already did that, so I don't think that the scooter is necessary, but if you have it, just do it as well, and then you will get it. So max two missions, if you have the same as me, it's just one mission, so that's pretty great. You're saving 900k if you already have a penthouse, that's awesome. If you don't have a penthouse, think about it, do you want a penthouse? Maybe it can be handy in the future for other discounts, or maybe it's just a waste of money and you're losing 600k like me. Anyway, once you have the trade price, just go to Legendary Motorsports, the first car on the list. Also the only car on Legendary Motorsports with this update. I picked the green color. Green is kind of ugly to be honest, so I wouldn't do that. You can change it afterwards as well, but the green, I thought it would be like a bright green. Would look nice on a Ferrari in my opinion, but it was like a dry uh, matte green like this. I didn't really like it. Anyway, pretty cool liveries. Now the customization of course. Pretty cool liveries. I really like the one with the white stripes like on the edges, so I picked that. I would recommend first go for the livery because if you have a nice livery, then you can decide a color that matches it because you don't want to change the livery afterwards because that's kind of expensive, like 20K, I think. So a lot of things that you can modify about this car, very nice looking in my opinion. It kind of looks like the Coquette D10, maybe I think a little bit like the details and stuff like that. It's also a new car in the game. I really like it as well. I haven't tested it out yet against other cars, but I will soon. I will maybe make a video about that, like against the Peria, against the Italy GTO, of course, the best sports car. By the way, this is a sports car, not super, but it really looks like a super. Also, it's a Ferrari, but the Italy GTO also a Ferrari. So we will see which one is better. I really hope that this is the best sports car now. I paid 2.6 mil for it, 2.5 mil, I think. And the regular price is 3.4, so that's really expensive. I think the Italy GTO is 1.9, so it should be better in my opinion. You guys can see you have a lot of nice colors with this uh, livery that I picked. All of them just look sick. I went for the kind of silver with white combination, also a little bit of carbon. I thought it looked cool. Of course, red also looks great on a Ferrari. It's the regular color. Or you can maybe go for the Italian three stripes and then with a the gray as well. But in general, this car is just so pretty, so nice, that it's really hard to make it ugly in a kind of way as well. So you can tune it however you want. Also, the spoilers kind of funny. You have like these weird kind of shark fins that you also have with like the Bugattis in this game, but they're not attached. So yeah, some new stuff I see. Also a shark fin on the top, the regular stuff, turbo. 
For the windows, by the way, I always used to do like the darkest tint so you couldn't see through it. But now that you have like more detail on the inside of the car in GTA, the trim color and stuff like that, that you can also adjust. I always do it transparent so you can also see it. You'd pay for it so you also want to see it, of course. For the wheels, I went with the street wheels that kind of look like the original wheels because the original wheels actually look very nice on this car. But with the standard ones, as you guys know, you can't change the color, you can't change the design and the leathers on the tires really make it look more flashy. So guys, this is my car. Hope you guys like it. If you want, you can copy it. I don't care, but uh, I really like this car. So make sure to get it if you have the money. Also make sure to get the trade price if you have the penthouse. That was it guys, make sure to like, subscribe and peace out.